strut your stuff and practice your picking. The 58th Midwest Banjo Fest comes to lacrosse this September. And joining us to discuss this morning is Neil Dureski. Good morning, Neil. Good morning. How are you today? I am doing great. 58 years of Banjo Fest. Does That's it, right. Can you believe it? Amazing. I can't. I haven't, I've only been in it about 15 years, but we've got people who've got a lot of gray, more gray hair than I do, if that's believable, but uh, they've been uh, coming here for years from all over the country. Oh, well, certainly keeping traditions alive, but also introducing new ones. Is there anything new that we can look forward to this year with the 58th? I don't know if there is, but it, it's basically riverboat jazz being played by mm -hmm. a riverboat banjoist, and they also do pop and country and everything else you can think of. There's one who does uh, bluegrass on a four-string banjo, so. It's a wide variety of people from all over the country. This year we have people coming from Illinois, uh, Michigan, Minnesota, Florida, Oklahoma, California, so far that I know of. So it, it's usually a, a wide variety of banjo players of different levels of skills and uh, they have a great time coming here and just playing music. And the beauty of it is you can be a listener, you can be a player, you can do a little bit of both. That's, That's the right. exciting part. That's right. You, I can sit back and listen if I want to rather than play. And uh, that usually happens during the Jamboree on Saturday night where anybody from a solo up to a, uh, a group that uh, plays parlor music, orchestra parlor music uh, arranged for banjo called the Banjo Busters, usually about eight of us in that. So it's a, it's a, a good show on Saturday night and it's a, a good show at the jam sessions all around town. And that's the beauty of this event. It's spread out all throughout La Crosse at all different locations from the Freight House to Concordia. There's a little bit of something you can check out every day and, and listen to new music. But Neil, I want to ask you, what makes this event so special to you? I like music and uh, I, I stopped by the Legion about 15 years ago and discovered they were having the, the Jamboree, never had been there to it before and I got hooked right away. I would caution one thing on that, uh, the Freight House event on, on Sunday night, that's basically a meal that starts at 5 o'clock and the banjo players start filtering out when they're done eating and talking. So. Don't be there at five waiting for the music. <laughs> yeah, you get, get your belly full first and, and then you're ready to listen to some of the tunes. But, but once they get going, it's a big circle in the bar and uh, it just goes, somebody calls a song out and everybody plays it. <laughs> well, we'll be looking forward to that. I know it's going to be a lot of fun September 16th through the 18th. Neil, we appreciate you coming on, bringing in, this is a bass banjo, Yes, correct? sir. And it's one you've been playing a, for what, 15 plus I, years? No, I bought this about three years ago. <laughs> so I've been playing upright bass prior to this. So, so but I, I felt as long as I'm playing with banjo players, I may as well go whole hog. Right, right. Well, that's great to hear, Neil. We'll be looking forward to seeing you and the rest of all the folks coming in from all over at right. this, uh, this year's Banjo Fest. Yeah, and I encourage everybody to stop by and listen to America's music. All right, and now we'll send it over to Kyle.